Of course, her name is I. But actually, Oshinoko I, that was after Dark Gathering I. So technically, we're not copying. It's just a coincidence that both who are very glittery, very happy, kind of idol-like are in this shitty situation where currently she's being like sacrificed for, by just some other god. I don't know the distinction between god and different cursed spirits and different things, but it seems like there's a distinction between this entity known as god. What's going to happen now? I expect us to technically like take this god into this doll, but it already got out. What will happen? Let's figure out today's reaction. A moment on the lips, a lifetime on the hips. And then this is how the last episode ended, right? The bigger baddies just showed up, right? <laughs> what is this thing, bro? I mean, maybe he's a friend. Look, he doesn't look too mean. Oh, true. Can we just ignore it? But if we just ignore it, then isn't Yayo in danger? Uh oh. He really just ignored it and walked away, huh? What if it joins us in the bathroom? What if it hands us the toilet paper? Maybe he can wipe our ass for us, man. It's right outside the door. <laughs> he just wants to help you. You guys with pets, dogs, whenever you go to the bathroom, they follow you into the bathroom, right? Do you know why they do that? Because when you're in the toilet, you're the most vulnerable. So the pet's trying to protect you. Maybe the same thing here. He's chilling right behind. You gotta ignore it though. This has turned into Mieruku-chan. Where it's like, oh, it's even doing our hair for us. The styling, you just gotta ignore it. If you acknowledge it, then it's over. You can't pull out his brain, right? No, you can't do that. It can do that? Are we just dying right now? Are those dolls dying? Holy shit! I don't know. It's smiling. It's, it's kind of cute, right? Maybe it's a friend. Sorry, I took a long shit. But the scary thing about the elevator is what if it stops working, bro? I'm... Okay, it's already not working. It'd be even scarier if it was closed and it just stopped moving like this. Everyone can see it, right? Hello? Maybe he's just lonely. He just wants some friends. Everybody saw it though. <laughs> oh, you're below here too. Hello? And the next floor too, right? Come on, again. Where is he? Oh, I thought he might be waiting for us. Did Yayoi not see because she's short? I think so, but it can't be that simple, right? It's following us. Hmm. Four... I. Eiko, do something. The star again. It like protected her. So, the god, the, the star has to do with her god, right? But the god like protects her. No one protects <laughs> Keitaro though. Eiko, get in there. There you go. Her hand placement there's a little sus. Yayoi! Cut the arm! Sacrificing himself? We're getting a main character moment. Hold up! No way Eiko lets this go. But Yayoi! Dude, she's so agile, man. Man, I just want Eiko to like get her Yandere knife out and start killing shit. <laughs> I, I just can't wait for a moment like that. And then boom. Just like... Almost comical, just a bunch of steel beams land. But the spirits can't get her. That's the interesting thing. Nah, it's different this time though. Nah, don't worry. Your brother is not the main character, but Keitaro is. And Yayo is in there too. It's gonna be okay. Exactly. It's kind of crazy that we're placing all our hopes on a third grader. I mean, she's different, but still, if you think about it. Oh, where's B1 going? Uh-oh, I don't see a B1. I don't know, like, what do you mean? There is no B1! It ends at 1! I don't want to leave. No, thank you. Let's go up. No, don't leave. Don't leave. No! 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 You're insane if you walk out of this elevator. No! Okay, it's actually getting kind of spooky. No shot. You just leave the elevator, though. He just wants to say hi. Maybe he wants to play with us. He's lonely. Hmm? Oh. Oh, yeah. What is that? 
There's brains. He likes the brain stems, right? Maybe he collects brain stems. I mean, we collect dolls of spirits. He collects brain stems, huh? Maybe these are the victims of the, the brain stems. There's four of them, right? Oh! What the fuck? Come here. So he controls these spirits by fucking with their brain stems. And then he takes her brain. Oh. He was licking her tears while taking the brain stems out. Okay, this is actually getting super fucked up now. So far, I don't think there's been an episode this disturbing yet. Stay the fuck inside. If you get out of the elevator, it's over. Yeah, Yohei looks super composed still. It's gonna be real strong one day. <laughs> okay. Wow, they're really scared of it. Is... Are we remember... Am I forgetting something? Oh, is this a uh, doll with the spirit that we captured from a couple episodes ago? Here we go. Uh, don't worry about it. The alien doll will just do everything. Get out there. Throw it. I don't know. Fucking throw it! And she's got a rope attached to her too. So we're gonna pull her back as soon as we bait it? Yeah, third grader. Ain't no way this is a normal third grader though. She's posing! She's posing on it! And then... Pull! Pull, pull, pull! Now we drag it back in and let the alien doll do the work? What a big brain play. Yeah, why can the rope interact though? It's a special type of rope. Okay. No, no, no. We're gonna take your brain stem now. Guess who's being hunted, motherfucker? It's you! <laughs> the alien's pissed off. What are we doing? Plonking? <laughs> what is this? The third grader dominatrix? Damn! The thing that we were scared of just got hunted down. He was scared of that thing more. There's always bigger fish out there. Damn. I will not feel pity for this guy. But this is pretty disturbing. What the fuck? I mean, yeah, you always said that this one has potential. It'll grow really strong one day. Look at it, bro. But we're on B1 or something, so it's gotta be offset? Oh, never mind. I don't know what we can do for you guys. What do we do? Get their brains back? What's Yayoi gonna do? <laughs> Hello, bye bye. <laughs> we'll be back. Oh. Maybe it deserves to be tortured like this. It's kind of fucked up, but hey. The god's aura heals him? It's like forever torture then. Good, you deserve this. <laughs> This is just never-ending revenge! I think he deserves this, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I, I sometimes really have to wonder, like, who really is the scary people? Like, the spirits or Yayoi? <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> oh, I was so worried. Oh. About Yayoi. Okay. I thought she was only hugging Yayoi for a second. <laughs> There, there. No, you should just come with us. Live with us. Why not? Probably true, but I think she needs us to solve her problem, too. But we won't meet that fate, because, you know, Keitaro's the main character, and your big bro wasn't. No, no, we gotta take her. No, I don't care. Just take her. Fucking kidnap her! I don't care! Bring her home, feed her chocolate, and we deal with it! 
Main character moment. Yeah, and we tortured it now. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be forever just like getting torn apart and healed up. Yeah, it's in your apartment now. We can't. You, I mean, do you want to go back there? Like, what do you mean? <laughs> What's this happy light coming up from Yayoi? It should be the other way around. This girl is terrifying, bro. Wow. Oh, it's Yayoi's room. That's right. It, it, it got away, remember? Mm -hmm. You knew it would. We need stronger spirits to be able to fight with it. We need something that can compete against the god. We need another god then, can't we? What? what? Oh. I? Oh, there it is. <laughs> it sounds like a guy now, huh? I thought it was like a girl. Yeah, it does sound like a guy. Not even my true form. Dude, stop killing these cute dolls. Where's the blood coming from? Because, you know, it's just a doll. But I know that the spirits are inside. It's supposed to represent their death, right? Do you have older ones? What do you mean you have graduates? Wait, what do you mean? She... I thought this was just our army in a room, but these are preschoolers? What? Do we have a 500-year-old cursed spirit too? Yeah, what the fuck? That age gap is a yo. What, what's going on here? <laughs> That's why you're concerned about the age gap? <laughs> the comedy comes out of nowhere, man. She's kind of flat. Holy shit. This is like our first major arc, huh? It's actually getting pretty serious. <laughs> you trying to act tough? <laughs> Try your best, bro. Oh? Is this one of our graduates, maybe? Oh shit, we're down to we're down to fight. But I can't wait to see our other graduate spirits, man. Because these are all preschoolers. Dude, a third grader is motioning to kill a god. This is getting super interesting. I was getting a little bit worried about how every episode feels like a mini story arc, but there's no overall goal or some big bad enemy to defeat. But now, here it is, the God of Ire. Right? We don't really know what it is, but goddamn, it's strong. But it turns out, yeah, you always room. The spirit's in there. I thought that was only her army, but that's not the case at all. These are just like the noobs. They're just preschooler spirits. We got graduates elsewhere, implying Yayoi yeah, even hasn't shown us her true form, even though the god also said that too. I guess somehow we're going to have to defeat a guy. Maybe we have a spirit that can contest the god. How is Keitaro going to compete with us? I don't know. And I'm still waiting for Yandero's, Yan, uh, Eiko's Yandere knife moment to happen. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for even more content. Until next time, take care.